Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Oaks Group. We've um, got an old car here for you. This is going to be sold under the Oakwood Trade Club. That's to say, it's uh, sold as seen, trade sale, no warranty in part or given. It's gone through our workshops. Uh, mechanically, it's strong, um, but it's 104,000 miles, 2006, 56 registered Audi Q7 4.2 V8 petrol. So, a really rare car, this. I think there's only 10 in the marketplace for sale. Um, the owner of the car has been known to me for the last 20 years. Um, he had a, a strong interest in Oakwoods in the early stages and he bought his car brand new back in 2006. Lives in Tunbridge Wells. Um, he's not really a car guy um, and he's used it. He's driven this car for 100,000 miles through the lanes in Tunbridge Wells and not really paid it too much respect in terms of paintwork. So mechanically it's very strong. It's obviously a 4.2 V8 petrol, so it's U less friendly. It's going to be a great export car, but it's got a, um, um, some paint blemishes around it and paint work, so that's why it's not offered for genuine retail sale. But the purpose of this video is to go around the car in detail, show you all those plate blemishes so you know what you're getting involved in, but it is priced accordingly, guys, yeah? So coming up onto the front bumper apron, multitude of scratches here, guys. Hundred, you know, obviously the car's 15 years old. It's 104,000 miles. Headlamp bezels are looking warm. There's marks on those bonnets there. There's an ouch there. You can just see, guys, it's, you know, he's driven it as it should be driven in terms of a four wheel drive. Big ouch there, guys, yeah. But like I say, he's had it from brand new. We've known him for many, many years and he just bought another one. So this is why this has come up for sale. Up onto the windscreen, got two keys for it. That's all as it should be. A panoramic glass roof which appears to be working albeit slowly we've had the wheel sent away for uh, refurbishment we've just done an oil service to the car dealt with an oil leak fitted a new uh, wheel bearing we're going to newly MOT because it hasn't been MOT for ages um, and it's just we just need the space back guys yeah up onto this front wing here on the passenger side you can see there's a big ouch there guys yeah we're going to get involved in it those alloys have been sent away to be uh, refurbished and as I say he has just put a recent set of tyres on it at about seven mil. Get great reviews these things, and like I say, if you just need to park something in South East London and you've got loads of kids, it might not be a bad bet. Obviously, 4.2 V8 petrol, so don't expect to be doing 50 to the gallon with this thing, um, but it is what it is. There's that ouch there on that front wing again, but you can just see that alloy's in good shape. That's a new Michelin tyre there. Mirror housing's actually power folding, but the drivers is not adjusting. I mean, obviously, guys, you'll have to come down and have a look at it. I can't go through all the faults, but um, you know, it's it's not going to win any beauty awards, that's for sure. Dent there in that door, factory rear privacy, rear quarter seems to be all okay, but there's marks on all of the panels, guys. Yeah, that alloy's been refurbed. That tire's good. Insert. You can just see what it's all about broken ashtray marks on the aluminium trim strip yeah like i say mechanically it's strong there's no parcel shell for it panoramic roof that all works some marking around the center console there and as i said it's not going to win any beauty awards look there because we've been training since 2001 we're based in a little village called east valley outside my stone in kent got small workshops mot and facility that we use prep all our used cars and uh, read our reviews at Auto Trader guys we are well regarded we're genuinely fair and straightforward and we've got 350 plus five star reviews to back that statement up but back to this uh, two clear Q7 okay around to the back of the bumper it's as bad as the well it's probably worse it's as bad as the front bumper park sensing is not working guys that's that rear bumper has seen a load of action okay just see it's marked here here a bit of corrosion up there power tailgate isn't working going up but all the struts hold it and it surprisingly it works on the way down that's gravity for you isn't it show you up on the roof guys like I said I think this car's gonna go for export I mean, I love the petrols over in, uh, over in the continent and stuff like that. But you can just see, guys, almost every panel has got a mark on it. Okay, big ouch here. Alloy's been refurbished. Got a wheel bearing to do on it. That tire's fairly new, but you can see mark in there. So it is just what it is, guys, yeah? 
as I said, it is pride broken ash tray marking there. It is priced accordingly. It's not a DQ7, this. It's had nine services. The first four or five were with Audi, as you might well expect, and then we've looked after it mechanically. We've never done any paintwork to it, as you can well see, but just see, look, there's markings around the centre console there. We've got all the handbooks there. We've got two keys. Got a provenance check. As I said, chaps had it from brand new, okay? Not really loved it, but used it. It's not a car guy, really. But one owner since October 2016. I think it was registered in his wife's name, so it's one family owner. There's a the service history for it, guys. Been looked after by Tunbridge Audi on those four separate occasions. And then we've serviced it. We've just done a big service to the car, guys, and we've MOT'd it. was a bad oil. We've sorted that out and we fitted a wheel bearing. So we probably spent, with the wheel refurbishment, we probably spent nearly a thousand pounds prepping this car, I guess. But it is sold on a trade basis. So, you know, look, it's a 15 year old, 100,000 mile plus Audi Q7. Okay, so uh, come down, have a test drive, have a cup of tea, make an informed decision. But once you've paid us and taken it from the site, any issues that you have are your issues, not ours, okay? And then we've got the MOT records there to back the mileage up. It's a matter of public record. And like I say, we've looked after it all the way through its life. As you can see, as you might well expect, this is a really good pal of mine. I've driven the car. As I say, the car drives really well. But you can see by the paintwork and the general overall condition, both sound system, it's about 30 foot pretty in the dark. There's your mileage, guys, 104,000 miles. I'm just trying to think what doesn't work. There's no warning lights on. Where are we? All the navigation's working because we changed the screen out. And like I say, it drives well, doesn't really smoke because it's petrol, it's uh, whisper quiet. So there we go. It's a 2006, 56, rare 4.8 V8 petrol. It's a Q7, done 104,000 miles, not gonna win in beauty awards. It's offered on a trade basis, no warranty implied were given, but we have spent a thousand pounds unbelievably getting it mechanically sound, but it's, uh, as I said, you know, the video obviously confirms that almost every panel's got a mark on it. So if you need a cheap petrol, something people carry, if you just want to leave on the streets in London and not worry about this is your car, or if it's going for export because it's petrol, I think it'll be a good export option for somebody. Thanks for watching.